Hi, it's the Rossum Vegan Gal here, and I decided to do this video um, actually in a park that's technically officially closed, but for those of you who can't get out, um, I decided this would be fun to do. Uh, sorry, there's a little noise in the background, a truck just went by. So this is Trees for Health Garden. It's a really neat uh, garden, uh, trees for health, medicinal plants from around the world. So I'm going to walk around a lot. I don't know if I'll get to the whole thing, but I figured this might be nice to do for you to see some nature. I believe this is rosemary over here. And then I think this is fennel or some type of fennel. Aloe vera. Um, and then there's some more rosemary here. There's different trees. This is actually a pomegranate tree. I know that. There's no pomegranates on it. And there's some beautiful flowers here growing. And there's a little squirrel running by. Um, so this is really nice. And they have different signs up on the... Um, place here like for example here's the sign for the pomegranate so you could see that maybe I'll try to stop and for you to be able to read those and I'm just gonna walk through um, not take too long but I don't know what all these plants and flowers are I'm not gonna look at all the signs um, you might hear some birds singing as well so just just to get a little bit enjoying uh, enjoyment of nature that you might not be able to get so here's another sign this is a ginkgo tree and um, I'll switch switch over to this side getting a little sun here in the eyes so you might not be able to see everything and uh, see what this tree is over here this is uh, Lang Lang that's another healing tree if you could read that give it a few minutes here's some pretty little pink color flowers I think that's the tree and here's some orange ones and then we'll switch back over to this side here's another sign this is a New Zealand this is the tea tree that's really good for you this is something you should probably use right now so this might actually be helpful for you to give you some ideas of things to use for your own healing. I actually make my own uh, hand sanitizer. So here's some more flowers going by. Here's some more pretty flowers too on this side to see all the beauty of nature. See all the different flowers. Here's some more on this side. It's a really nice thing that they did and it's all run by volunteers. And it's really, it's a big thing. I don't know that I'll go all around it. Oh, and here's some crows. You get a little, a little bit of uh, some birds here, some black crows here running around, enjoying the nature as well. And then uh, you can watch them a little bit here, doing their thing, looking for food or something they could eat, I guess. And then here's some more pretty uh, flowers and some other kind of a plant. I'm not sure what that is. And I hear a hummingbird up there. I'm going to walk around. Here's another tree with a sign. So we'll get, take a look at that one. And that one is uh, Oregon Grape. So you get to see that. Hopefully that's enough time for you to... You can always pause the video. And I don't know what that tree is, but that's uh, a bay leaf, looks like. Bay laurel. Um, you can pause the sign and... Uh, um, I'm sorry, pause the sign. Pause the video. And then they have this other thing that they do, which is the Five Flavors Walk. It's really neat. So you get all different flavors. And there's different signs around. So maybe we'll walk around and see that too. Not sure how long this video will go, but we can try to walk around the um, the whole area. I'll give you an overview here, um, and maybe we'll walk this round and then around the other side. There's another way that goes down the hill. Here's some more pretty flowers. And here's another sign. We'll maybe take a look at that one. And uh, this one is another tea tree. Oh wow, there's more than one. Who knew? I didn't. I did, I've been in this uh, area before, but I never knew that there was another tea tree. Here's some more beautiful flowers and plants growing. Here's some more on this side. There's some over there. I believe these are nasturtium flowers. Excuse me, I'm in the light here. The sunlight is coming down. It's later in the day. So, and here's one of the signs here for the um, five flavors. This is sour. I guess we missed the first one, so I don't know where that one is, but just to get an idea, I don't know where that first one is. It might be in a different direction. So, um, here's some more flowers, some more trees. Some are not yet budding. Some are starting to bud, uh, so they're all in different stages because it's the springtime. So I hope you're enjoying this. At least you get to see some nature. Um, and it's about four and a half minutes into the video, but I think I'll keep going a little longer. Here's some pretty purple flowers. Then I'm going to walk around this way, and then there's another sign here. Let's see what that one says. And this one is the pungent, so you could take a look at that and see things that are beneficial. And maybe we'll walk around here and then make another turn and this one is eucalyptus wow that's also a really good one for you 
And then we'll continue this way here. Some more trees on this side. There's some cactus. We'll probably hit that on the other uh, way around. So you see some more flowers here. Here's another sign. This is for the salty. So you could see that, the benefits of those kind of, uh, and more nasturtiums. Nasturtiums grow really wild. Lots of them. And I believe you can eat, I know they're edible. Um, I, be, I don't know if the leaves are edible too, they might be. And here's a very interesting tree with these things growing out of it. Really unusual. Very unusual. And here's another one. Here's the other one, sweet, oily, and starchy. And here's some other pretty flowers over here. We're coming around to the part where I started. And I think there's one more sign here we want to hit. And then this one here, here's another tree. And this is a neem tree. That's also really good for you. We'll try to get it where you can see what it says. And then there's one final sign here, but I missed number one, so I don't know what I... This is just the conclusion. So what I'm going to do now is come back around this way. And we're now up to about six minutes. But I want to come around and hit that other area. So that uh, has some other trees and I think it's around this way I have to go I have to find my way I'm just you're, I'm just walking with you that one we passed already I think it's around this end that we go um, where I can we'll get to see the cactus a really nice cactus over here and they also usually in the I think it's in the summertime where they get fruit and uh, Look at that. Those are really big cactus and some other plant growing. I don't know what that is. I think this gets some flowers on it. And then we're going to walk down this way and here's some more flowers over here. More flowers on this end. So you're getting a little tour of this garden. Look at these flowers. Pretty as well. And I don't know everything that's growing here, but it is very nice. Very healing, very peaceful. Here's some pretty flowers. Get a little close up to them. And there's was a little lizard I think was running up the tree, but I thought I could get him before he runs away. But they run pretty fast. They don't like to hang out and wait for you. So here's some more. These are some different kinds of a cactus. These don't. I don't think these fruit. The other ones, the pad, ones that have the paddle, look like a paddle. Here's some more trees and. Uh, Really neat, look at that. So now we're about seven minutes in. So I think we're almost done with going around. We'll go on this side, there's not as many uh, flowers over here, just the small ones. Here's a lot of these pretty white and uh, yellow flowers. I'm not sure what kind they are. Ooh, and I think I just saw a bunny rabbit, but he ran away. Oh, that would have been so cute. It was a bunny rabbit right there. He ran away. Oh wow, this is a nice adventure we're getting to see different things, but I wish that little bunny rabbit would come back. It looked like a bunny rabbit. Wow, so we're about eight minutes in. Here's some little pretty yellow flowers. Too bad he ran away. Oh, that would have been really cute to have the bunny rabbit in the video. Okay, here's some more little flowers here, yellow ones. And here's some pretty um, irises. Let's see if we can get close to these. Ooh, was that the bunny rabbit? I think I saw something again running away. But these are the beautiful irises. We want to get a picture into that. Look how beautiful that is. It sounded like, but I can't see him. I think that was the bunny rabbit. And here's a big, it looks like a, an aloe type of plant. Oh, a bird. There's a bird over there. I don't know if we got him in the uh, video or not. But this pretty irises. Here's some other pretty plants over here. Oh, and here's another tree we didn't, I don't think we got to see. Oh, there's the bird in there. I don't know if you could see him in the tree there. And then this is hawthorn, which is also really good for you. And I don't know if we hit this area or not. Uh, we can try going back up here. So I'm not sure that we saw up this, this part. I don't think I walked up this way. There's some more trees. So we're about nine and a half minutes in. I'll probably finish up fairly soon. Um, here's some more trees over here. Here's some more over here. And there's one other sign here that I don't think we saw. So I'll show that one too. So that you get the scope of everything. Get an idea of different things and their benefits. 
Oh, and this is for olives. So then you get an idea of things that you can incorporate into your health routine. So, uh, and these are the trees that produce them. And then, like I said, you can always pause the video and stop it and then, you know, write down the information that uh, tells you about. So I'm just walking with you as I talk. And to show you some of the view here, it's really pretty. This is in the park, but it's very quiet because it's officially closed, but they don't have it blocked off so that you can't actually come to it. So here's another tree with some pretty flowers on it. The sun's kind of hitting it, so I can't really get it. There we go. And I wish that little bunny rabbit would come back, but I don't see it. I think that was a bunny rabbit. Here's some more nice plants here. Very big. They look like big, I don't know, they're aloe. I don't know what they're called exactly. And then we can come down here for just a bit. I don't know that this is part of the, um... oh, there's a little something running by. Oh, is that a bunny rabbit? Oh my goodness, it's a bunny rabbit. He's in the video. This is so exciting. <gasps> Wow, remember I said I wanted the bunny rabbit in the video? We got him! The little bunny rabbit! Isn't that a special surprise? That was a nice surprise. The little bunny rabbit came to say hi. And here's some other flowers over here. This, I don't know if this is part of the Healing Trees Garden, but it's still pretty. So we'll get a little, uh, we'll walk around here a little. So we're now about 11 minutes and 45 seconds. So we'll probably finish up very soon here. Just gonna take a little more view of this and a little more view over here of the trees. And I thank you for watching. It's the Rossum Vegan Gal.